Hello everyone. So today I'll teach you guys how to create dynamic library. So in dynamic library, there are, there are steps involved. Let me show you guys the, I mapped out some steps that are involved in creation of dynamic library. So the steps involved, the first one is this. This is the, the first one is this. Create your function files. Function files I mean here, I mean here is, let's for take for instance, you want to create a function that multiplies two numbers and also a function that adds two numbers. So here we'll be creating two files. One will be first one, will contain a function that multiplies two numbers, A and B. Second one will create a function that adds sums to numbers, A and B. So let's create it first. Let's execute the first step. Let's execute the first step. Let's, let me navigate to my Linux. Yeah. So let, first of all, let's create file that, let's create a file that sums to numbers. So add, let's name it lib add, lib underscore add dot c. So in our lib function, this is a file that multiplies to, that adds to number. So add our header file, hash include stdio.h. Then the function is sub, void sub, void add, void add. We're adding two numbers, two, it's taking two arguments, int a, int a, is B. So print F A plus B is equal to percent D A plus B. We close. This is the function that adds two numbers. So let's create the function, a function that multiplies two numbers. Let's create a function file. Let's name it mold.libmold.c. So we follow the same step. That's the EIO dot h. Then then we we'll void mold. We're multiplying two numbers and it's gonna take two arguments and a and b point f point f so a times B is equal to percent B. This A times B. We close. So what's the next step? Let me share my screen with you. The next step is to create your header file. The next step is to create your header file. So let's create our header file. So our header file here is, let's name our header file main.h. So let's open our header file main.h. So to create your header file, Hash if not defined, man that's H. Hash defined, man that's H. So we copy the prototypes of our function. The prototype we have void, void add, int A, int B. The second one is void mode. 
Okay. Okay. Close. This hash and this. Then the next step is to create our main.c file. You can name anything. I named my main.c. So let's put our main. Main.c. I. Hash include. Then you add your include our header file, which is main dot page. Main dot page. Then int main. You now we will have in our function of each of oh, the, the two function has two arguments. A and B. So we assign a value to A and B. It's A equals, let's say, 30. B equal to 10. Then we call our functions. We have add function and mod function. We call the functions add A, B. A mod A B. These are our functions. Then no. Am I doing return zero and we close. We close. This is our main dot C function. After this, what's an what's the next step? Let's go back to where I drafted our steps. So the next step is to, we've done step one, step two, step three. Create object file for your function files created in step one. So we create an object file for these files, which are our libact.c and our libmod.c. So let's go and create the file. So to create your object file, you run this code, this is C, minus C, have lib add dot c lib mod dot c for dynamic library use this code fdic yes run it so now let's see the list of the items we have in our directory you can you can see that we have our main file and our object file you can see libadd.c and libadd.o. We didn't create this for ourselves. This code, last previous code we ran, created the .o files, which are our object files. You can also see mod.c. Mod.c also has also has an object file, mod.o. So we've successfully created this one. So what's the next step? Let's check our next step. Let us check our next step. Wait. Our next step is this. We don't step one to four. Next step is to create the dynamic library. And our dynamic library must end with dot so. So let us create it. Let us create it. So to create our dynamic library, we run this code GCC dot o. Shared. We all know that dynamic library. I don't know dynamic library because you might be wondering how we got the shared. Dynamic library can also be called shared library. So, like, so let's let's name our let's move on to let's name our, our object file. Let's name it um um let's name it libmath libmath dot so. Get math dot so so let's check mm -hmm. then we've done this then the next step is what the next step would be to create an object file for the main dot c so let's do it let's do it let's do it let's do it Let me share. 
So to create a object file from Mendo C, we want this code this is C minus C main dot C main so there's an error main no such file there's an error somewhere no in my hash include let's open our i think i didn't write main dot h i, I only wrote, wrote hash include main instead of main dot h that's why the compilation didn't complete so let's open our main dot c file main dot c file so you can see it we wrote only main oh that's why they didn't compile dot dot h so let's run the code see it's compiled so let's ls we will see you can see now you can now see our main dot o the previous code we ran created the main dot o file so now the next step is to let's learn it let's go back to where i drafted it so our next step is to link our main.o to our dynamic library. So let's get it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So in order to do this, we run this code GCC, GCC minus O main, the name of our file, because we are linking it. The, 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 the two files will be linked to main. You know we don't have any any file making named main. So the the new the two files we are linking the two files and the two files will be linked into this file main main file. We're creating a main a main file main dot o get this is the file we are creating. This is the, we are linking this main dot o with to link it. Use this l dot hyphen capital L dots. Then what's the name of our dynamic library is libmap.so. So libmap.so. So run our code. We've created our main file. See, we have created our main file. This linking we did the two O and the two main amen dot O and our lip math dot SO both are now linked into our main file. So the next thing we do is run this code, you won't get the answer, you won't get it. So let's run it, let's see the result. Because before this comes out correct, you see something is missing. So first of all, we now need to copy our lip math of SO. We have to copy it to our to our the, 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 um, usr slash lib directory we need to copy it there so in order to copy it you use sudo cp lib lib math dot so user lib so so, say that I should put my password. So, it has been copied. So, now let's now rerun it. Let's run our code. You can see A times B is 40. I didn't give a new line. That's why those are resources like this. A plus B, you know, we repeated two numbers A. A is 30, B, 10. So this is 30 plus, 30 plus 10, 40. Then 30 times 10, 300. I didn't include a, a new line. So in your code, if you're running this code, make sure to include a new line. Else you get this, you get this. So make sure you include a new line. So this is it. This is how to run the code. Thank you. You can subscribe to my channel for more videos. Take care.